Gospel of the Lord, September the 14th, 2013, Luke 6, 49 Jesus told his disciples, There is no sound tree that produces rotten fruit, nor again a rotten tree that produces sound fruit. Every tree can be told by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorns, nor gather grapes from brambles. Good people draw what is good from the store of goodness in their hearts. Bad people draw what is bad from the store of badness. For the words of the mouth flow out of what fills the heart. Why do you call me, Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? Everyone who comes to me and listens to my words and acts on them, I will show you what such a person is like. Such a person is like the man who, when he built a house, dug and dug deep, and laid the foundations on rock. When the river was in flood, it bore down on that house, but could not shake it. It was so well built. But someone who listens and does nothing is like the man who built a house on soil, with no foundations. As soon as the river bore down on it, it collapsed, and what a ruin that house became. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is calling our attention to producing good fruits, to producing the fruits of the Lord. Contrary to what our, to what our Protestant brothers say, that what Luther, Martin Luther, just to say that all you needed was just faith following the scripture alone. He didn't read intently on the scripture because the Lord is telling us, and very clearly, someone who listens to the scripture and does nothing is like the man, like a, like a full man, who built a house and soil without foundation. What you have to do, it's not enough to have a cross around your neck. It's not enough to call yourself religious. It's not even enough to go to Mass even every day if you don't produce the good things. And what is the clue of what the Lord is telling us today? He starts with a very simple tale, a very simple analogy. There is no sound tree that produces rotten fruit nor a rotten tree that produces sound fruit. The tree is each one of us, whether sound or rotten. Is it perhaps part of your will or my will? Do we, are we just born rotten or good? Have you ever stopped to think about it? Of course we were born good and sound. But as we grow up, as we grew up, we became many times rotten. Not because we were bad in the beginning, but because our free will that went away many times against the Lord make us became rotten. But then again, whether we are rotten in the heart or sound in the heart, it's what is really the difference because he says what is good the good people draw what is good from the store of goodness in their hearts and the words of the mouth flow out of what fills the heart what fills your heart really the desire for money the desire for power the vanity the pridefulness the desire the passion perhaps the concupiscentia what is inside your heart what is really inside your heart and can we change that we by ourselves cannot change it once we have become a little bit rotten or quite a lot rotten it's impossible for it's impossible for us to change it but there is someone who can and will change it immediately well not immediately in the sense of time but immediately will start if you allow him the clue of the whole gospel today is this, the treasure in your heart, the treasure in your heart. I will come back to this, because first, 
I have to explain a little bit what happens. The second option, the building of a house without foundation, is exactly what happens when we believe that we believe in God, but do nothing of what He tells us. When the river bores down on us, that means when it comes the time of the of the test, when we age, when we have pain, when we have trouble, we collapse because we have no foundation. But when we stop to build our life, that means our house, ourselves, and dug and dug deep until we found until we find the rock who is Christ, then anything that life can throw at us will be very bearable because we will be sustained by the rock who is Christ. So if you really want to have a happy life, but furthermore, if you really want to have a happy ending of your life in heaven, you have to be built on the foundation of the only rock in the universe, which is Jesus Christ. How do we build that? We have to ask the Lord to come and dwell in our hearts. We have to ask the Holy Spirit to dwell in us so that He who is all goodness will overflow our heart and then we will produce the good fruits of what the Lord is asking from us. We will hear His word and we will act on it. Let us humbly ask your brothers. I invite you to ask with me that I am a sinner. The Holy Father, who so loves you and me, to pour his Holy Spirit in us, that he might cleanse our insides of our hearts, that he might fill our hearts with the bright light of love, with the burning of seal for the words of the Father, with the burning of seal to do the will of our Father each and every day that through this great love we learn to love him above all things and we learn to love each other that we might produce the fruits of true sons. I want to see you all in heaven, brothers. God bless you all.